Hey everybody, Bobby Chu here. So right now it's getting close to 2019 and what better time than that to come up with some New Year's resolutions. I know it isn't New Year's right now as of this video, but that's what I tend to do. As we start to approach New Year's, I start to think about my New Year's resolutions. So I thought, hey, why not share them with you guys, my six New Year's resolutions and if you like them, please let me know what your New Year's resolutions are. Put them in the comments below. I'd love to get some uh, new ideas. I'm sure everybody else would as well. And really, it doesn't matter what time of the year it is that you're watching this video. It's always good to have some resolutions. So here we go. Number one, the five second rule. If I come up with a good idea, I have to do it within five seconds. Now, what constitutes as a good idea? Right now I'm thinking, hey, maybe I should do some push-ups. That would be a good idea because that would be healthy for me. Well, not right now because I'm busy doing a video. It also matters the timing. If you can't do it right now, if you are in a meeting or something like that, then that doesn't constitute as a good idea. However, if you're sitting there on the couch watching this video and thinking, hey, yeah, doing some push-ups or doing some sit-ups would be a good idea, start doing them within five seconds because after five seconds, it's just, it gets harder and harder. A lot of times the things that we know are good for us that we should do, a lot of times we convince ourselves out of it. Oh, we could do it another day. Oh, we could put it off for another time. Oh, right now I'm not in the mood. Things like that. Well, that's why the five second rule is going to be a great one. I've actually already started this one earlier this year, but it's been fantastic. As soon as I think of a good idea, you got to start acting on it within five seconds. You start counting it down. Five, four, three, two, one, and start acting on it. Just like this video, actually. I was thinking about... Uh, what should I do on this Saturday morning? And I thought, hey, maybe I should make a New Year's resolution video and go to the studio and start making this video. So as soon as I came up with that idea, I started the process, started to get the shoes on, started to get everything in motion. Turn off that decision part of your brain now because you already made the decision. You already came up with a great decision. So it's time to act on it. Number two, notice every time I have negative thoughts. Not when I say negative things, because that's a little easier. I'm talking about, I want to really try to notice every time I have a negative thought and then switch it. You know, the brain is like our refrigerator. We can pick out whatever we want to eat. And as soon as we start concentrating on that, then it changes our mood. Number three is probably the hardest one. It's to take the first 90 minutes of my work day and use it towards my ultimate goal. So that means if I start working regularly at 9 a.m., I would start working at 7.30. And from 7.30 till 9, it's all about working on my ultimate goal. My fourth New Year's resolution is to commit to doing something healthy. Whatever that might be for you, for me, that's continuing with Wim Hof. The Wim Hof method is something that I am a huge advocate of. It's a very healthy breathing, yoga, meditation kind of exercise. With all the traveling that I've had to do in the last year, it's been very difficult to keep it going steady. So that's my other New Year's resolution to just do it more regularly, on a regular basis. Now, for you, that might be the gym, that might be going jogging, that might be meditation, whatever it might be. And these things can be very difficult. So know yourself and think about it. For me, it's not actually doing the Wim Hof Method. My New Year's resolution is actually every day getting on the gear getting on the clothes that I would want to get on when I'm doing exercises and to lay down on the ground and start the Wim Hof method. If I want to quit at that time, if I want to quit during that time at any time, that's totally fine. Because that to me sounds way easier. That's something that I feel 
okay with, I can commit to. If I really, really do not want to do any exercise that day, that's fine. I just get on my clothes, I lie down on the ground, and I start the Wim Hof method, and then I just stop. I get up, I change, and whatever. So it really takes that commitment and makes it a lot easier. And trust me, most of the time you get on your gear, you enter into the gym or whatever it might be, getting ready to do push-ups or sit-ups, you'll do some. And most likely you'll do a lot. So that's kind of like my cheat, my way of negotiating with myself to do something healthy. Number five, my fifth New Year's resolution is to commit to learning something new. Now, this is something, again, where it's like, it might be a little difficult. So instead, you might want to have the New Year's resolution of, I want to commit to turning on schoolism and playing the video. If at any time I want to turn it off, I can feel free to turn it off, but I'm going to turn that thing on, on a regular. And that's my commitment. So for me, what's my commitment? It's to do the gesture drawing class on schoolism with Alex Wu. Alex, he's a phenom. He won the Student Academy Award as a student, went straight to Pixar pretty much afterwards. At Pixar, he was a story artist on Ratatouille and a bunch of other amazing, amazing Oscar-winning movies. But not only that, he also taught gesture drawing class at Pixar. So that's something I, I want to ramp up on. I've actually taken the class before, but it's been a bunch of years. Can't wait. I do want to mention that there is a winter sale on schoolism, and I do the classes too. So number six, what's my sixth New Year's resolution? It's to count my blessings before bed. And to me, what that means is not just the very obvious blessings. If you've been watching my videos and keeping up with what's going on in my life, I've had arm problems for a bunch of years. It's gotten a lot better, but I still have a little bit of problems with my arms. So instead of concentrating on the fact that I have problems with my arms, lately I've been thinking, what if I didn't have arms? Some people in the world, they don't have arms. So I try to picture that. I've been living without arms for like years and years and years, and finally, through some sort of scientific miracle, I was given arms. And the arms, they don't feel totally right, but now I have arms. Now I can pick up a pen or a brush or whatever. So even though it hurts a bit, wow, I feel blessed to really think about not just the obvious blessings in our lives, but the ones that we take for granted every day because we're kind of just born with them. And of course, a huge one for me is that I'm blessed to have you guys watching these videos. I feel blessed to be one of those little stones along your path to hopefully greatness. So those are my six New Year's resolutions. I'd love to know yours. Please put them down in the comments because I will read them. If it's a great idea, I might just adopt it. And hopefully, if you liked any of these ideas, then you'll adopt them too. I'm Bobby Chu. Thank you very much, guys. Thanks for watching. The first half of our Schoolism Live workshops are happening in March and April 2019. We're very excited to be coming back to Seattle, Florence, London, and Berlin with these incredible artists. Tickets are now available on schoolism.com. Get yours today and receive an early bird discount.